Hello everyone, Neef here, and look what I just got in the mail. <laughs> uh, this just came in moments ago. Um, I did actually open this up real quick just to look inside. Um, it's a little banged up. This is the booklet for it, but this, oh, I didn't even say the name. This is the <laughs> Wisdom of the Kaliak. Um, that's how excited I was. I've been waiting for this deck. Uh, like, I've been on the wait list for like two years, <laughs> and um, the last run, um, I just... I wasn't in a position to um, buy it at the time, but I was now. So when it was available now, um, I jumped on it and uh, bought it and it just came in. So this is of course the Wisdom of the Kaliak and it's by Jane Brightson. Um, the deck came in this little bag here. I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not. Um, like if she, if Jane Brightson had uh, made this bag, I probably would have kept it, but I'm pretty sure this is just a simple store-bought um, little baggie. So yeah, I, I will probably make a bag for this um so i haven't even taken the plastic plastic off but here it is um i'll take it off right here on camera all right oops there we go we've got the cards there and we'll look through these in just a moment crinkle 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 getting the, the plastic out of the way <laughs> all right so i'm really excited to go through this but let's check out the book real quick and it does uh it is a little banged up um from the from shipping from Ireland um, here to the US. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can see it's it's a bit bent here. It's okay, it's okay, <laughs> it's fine. Um, so yeah, it's a little like little zine here. Um, the Wisdom of the Kaliak, an Oracle and Journey with the Old Woman of Ireland by Jane Brightson, created and produced in Ireland, dedicated to on Kaliak Bera, um, who showed me the way and my maternal grandmother, Annie Mona Bright Bridson, Bridson, hmm, uh, proud Minx woman and, uh, teller of tales. Excellent. Um, so, and then there's a table of contents. Excellent. So the journey, the beginning, the journey, uh, and then the circle of old women and then working with the wisdom of the Kaliak. Um, excellent. So we've got the beginning part there and then it starts going through each of the cards and this is just like fantastic. Um, and then the circle of old women. Excellent. I know I'm, I'm not saying much right now. Um, actually I'm just, I'm kind of just a little excited. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's like, I've been waiting on this deck for such a long time. Um, and I plan to exclusively work with this deck, uh, um, in December. So I'm actually not planning on really using this until December. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's the book, uh, the, uh, here are the cards. I didn't see how many cards there were. Um, I'm actually not sure. And honestly, I don't care. I don't care how many cards there are. <laughs> um, the cardstock itself, it's, a th it's kind of thin. Um, the cards are large because they're kind of meant to be more like altar, uh, altar cards. Um, so they are large and typical or Oracle size, I think. Um, so let's just go through these. <laughs> um, let me zoom in a bit. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, it won't let me zoom in. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'll zoom in in my editing program. We got Long Road. Excellent. Crossroads. I love the backs of these two. Very nice and simple. Um, very Celtic. Um, Irish Blackthorn. Um, the Kalyak is a, um, a deity that is, um, we see in both, in specifically um, Irish and Scottish um, mythology, um, but probably in Manx as well, Manx uh, mythology. Um, and we, you know, we might see them as separate individuals because sometimes that's the case. Like in the case of uh, Bridge, Bridget, um, some people see uh, the goddess, the Irish goddess, the um, the Irish uh, saint, and uh, like the Scottish Bridget or the um, <laughs> across the pond sort of Bridget as uh, different entities, but based on the same. And then there's other people who see them as the same. So it's kind of a um, you know, I, I don't want to say that one way is better than the other or one way is more correct than the other, but, um, yeah, but I, 
kind of personally see the Irish Kaliak and the Scottish Kaliak as sort of the same entity. And maybe I'm wrong with that. I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, this is beautiful. Oh, son. I love this. But, um, yeah. And uh, I definitely associate December um, Yule uh, with on Kaliak. Um, yeah. Ooh, look at that. First fruits. I mean, it's kind of a year round sort of energy, but I really see her as, um, embodying that December month for sure. Beautiful. There, there's not too many cards. So this, this part here should go over pretty quickly. Ancestors love this card. Like, obviously, this is not a deck I plan to use for, like, you know, everyday pull, pulls or, like, mundane questions. This is a deck that I specifically got for work with on Kaliok. And just big issues, big, big uh, spirituality sort of um, uh, readings. So it's not a deck that I feel like it's, it's going to be, like... Um, used all the time in my practice. Um, you know, I've been talking about how I want to get back into reading for others, like um, as part of my business again. Um, I just haven't gotten around to that, but I, I do want to do that again. But I, I would feel, I think I would have to really, um, really connect with this deck before I felt comfortable using this for other people. Um, and then the final one is the veiled one. Beautiful. Um, so it's probably going to be a uh, pretty specific uh, use in my practice, pretty specific for me, but um, we'll see. So I'm going to shuffle this real quick and I'm going to side shuffle. Uh, I'm going to do a few shuffles because I've pulled out several decks to see how this might pair. And some of them are oracles, some of them are tarot. And I just, you know, I just, there's something very cosmic about this deck. So, um, you know, very spiritual, very cosmic. So I pulled out decks that gave me that sort of feeling. All right. So, and yeah, I mean, it shuffles just fine. It's very bendy. Um, it's uh, it's a thinner card cardstock, which I, I don't mind at all, honestly. All right. So let's do that. Ooh, first snow. All right. Let me pull out a deck. So the first deck I wanted to try, um, I was talking about how I feel like this deck will be very um, personal for me. So I wanted to pull out uh, my me deck, um, and that is my Anna K. And I'm pretty sure this will go very, very well. Uh, let me shuffle this real quick, because <laughs> uh, I probably used it fairly recently. So I just want to do a little shuffle. All right, and split this in half. All right see how this looks. So um, my Anna K, and I think this looks lovely, but my Anna K is something that's very personal for me. Um, and it's not a deck that I use for other people. Look at this. Wow. The High Priestess with the Ancestors card really connected. And then we got the Ace of Rods after that. Wow. Some luck, for, like inspiration from the ancestors, I think, and um, connecting with them in uh, deep inside. Yeah, this I like. I can already tell this. These two decks go really well, really well together. Um, there's just an energy that really works here. I think. Um, what do you think? <laughs> because I think this works. Um, I'm gonna do just a few more because I have so many decks to go through. We've got the Hermit and the Three of Pentacles with Mound in the middle. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's definitely something I could read from that. And one more. Seven of Rods and the Sun with Balance in the middle. Hmm. It's almost like this, like, there's this anger energy and this sunny happiness. Uh, like, toxic, toxic negative energy negativity and toxic positivity and like trying to find a balance in between um yeah so anyway so that was the uh anna k with this um i did also pull out the anima mundi but i'm not even gonna pull this out because 
I'm pretty sure this is going to go well, and I think it's going to be pretty similar to that um, Anna K. So I'm going to go to the next deck, so so I don't waste too much time here. <laughs> um, let's do let's do this one. So I pulled out um, the Guardian uh, Tarot, and uh, this is also a deck that I feel very uh, it's very spiritual in my collection here. Um, here it is, and let's pull this out. All right. Um, I, I really, really love this deck, but I don't love uh, the cardstock. It's because it, you can see that it rocks. It, it rocks like that, but yeah. Well, let's check this out. Oh, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take off a chunk, though. Here we go. I mean, ooh, okay. We have the Ace of Wands and Strength with Well in the middle. I mean, this definitely has a very spiritual quality to it. Ooh. I think, like, this deck really draws me in, the Guardian Tarot. Um, I don't use it a lot. Um, I And I loved it uh, in the beginning of the year in January. And I think this was my favorite, um, my favorite uh, deck of that month. I, I don't love the cardstock. I, I wish it wasn't, I didn't, it didn't rock like this, but... <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Let's do one more like this. This almost looks like it goes together, but let's see. Ooh, long road between two of wands and the eight of pentacles. Oh, that connects. And the two of wands, it's a journey. It's the beginning of a journey. It's the long, it's a long road and it's really sticking to it. So yeah, I, I really like this. All right. So next deck. I really feel like this uh, Guardian Tarot, uh, along with this uh, Kaliak deck, is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, I feel like it's going to be very, like, pathworky. I don't know. Um, or, like, really working with uh, spirit entities, if that makes sense. Um, so, speaking of, like, spirit entities, uh, I kind of went, I grabbed another deck that kind of goes off in a different direction. Um, and that is, uh, I gotta keep this out of the view because it's one of, the, it's got one of the new bags that I made. So, um, and I'm not ready to share that yet. Um, but yeah, so this is the uh, Yokai Tarot. And um, obviously it's Japanese, so we're kind of mixing cultures here a little bit. Um, but I, I just kind of wanted to see how this would look. Um, and of course, yokai is uh, the spirit, Japanese spirits, um, like uh, uh, spirit entities, sort of. So uh, I, I kind of wanted to see how this would look. And I like that it's the, the height is similar here. Um, so that actually could quite work together but um again we are mixing cultures here so um that's something i'm kind of careful to do um so let's see let's pull these to the side here okay we have the uh knight of um of pentacles and uh the king of pentacles yes um in between with so the coin, uh, knight of coins and king of coins with change in the middle. So it's almost like an evolution going on. That's interesting. And then uh, we have the ten of swords and the eight of swords with long thorn in the middle. That that works. Like how do how do I like the imagery though? I do like this. Like I don't think it's it it clashes too much. Um, but I do, like, I, I don't like the different colors here with the white borders, uh, with this, but I mean, that's a, that's a minor thing. Ooh. All right. These three all feel like they have like some animal energy here. And one more. So I don't think this quite goes as well as the other ones. Um, sovereignty in between the three of wands and the queen of pentacles queen of coins sovereignty all right well this was interesting I, I I'm I'm not saying it was bad or anything I, I don't dislike it um but it's not quite as good as the other ones but all right so that was the yokai tarot all right so the next one I want to try I kind of want to grab um two decks here um one is the star tarot which is a deck that 
I don't love. It's um, but I I want to I want to get to know it, I, and I want to see if I can if I can love it someday. <laughs> but it, it does have that very mystical star quality to it. So I have uh, this deck here, and um, let's do either side. And I have a second deck that I kind of want to pair with this. And I, I um, let's, all right, I'm going to mess around with this. Hold on. Okay, we got this layout here where I have this down a little bit. And here is where the other deck is going to come in. Now, this is the Starseeds uh, Oracle. And um, it's not a deck I use very often. <laughs> um, I, I don't love this deck. Um, but uh, it's... I, I don't know. I, I feel this star quality here. So I just kind of wanted to pull this out and see if we could get like another message with it. So I thought maybe this could work. Maybe this might be interesting. And of course we could do something like this where we kind of do this sort of thing. I don't know. Does that work? That might be too much, but like I don't know. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> but all right. So we have, have uh, here, we have a vibration with sovereignty and nine of swords and six of wands. Interesting. So uh, pull this over. Gratitude. So the moon, this looks cool. The moon the, between the ace of wands and the eight of pentacles, which I like. Gratitude. Uh, universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. Hey, I mean, this, this deck is, you know, it's, it's very wooey. <laughs> it's, it's very wooey, very star seedy, but you know, it's fine. I, I just kind of wanted to see how this might look. Um, multiple Oracle decks here with, um, all sort of having that cosmic sort of energy, because even though the Kaliak is very rooted to the earth, it, it, it feels very cosmic to me. Because, it, you know, this is very much a goddess energy and um, a goddess that I really associate with uh, um, the winter. Um, so those sorts of energies. So Blackthorn with Earth Guide, your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and to be loved. With Star and the Hermit. Oh, and that really connects there. Because we've got the star. I always sort of see the, the hermit's lantern as that star. You know what I mean? Um, and then Blackthorn right there. Interesting. Let's do one more here. See how I like this. So, Veiled One, Surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Uh, just be with life in this present moment. And Strength and Two of Cups. Interesting. Interesting. All right, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't um, dislike this. I know I'm, I already, I said I was not going to grab another one, but I did. I just wanted to see. All right, so I liked it. Um, I think it's going to be something interesting to work with. Um, let me pull out another deck. You know, I was just wondering, um, I wonder if, I'm not going to pull this out, but I, I'm just like playing around right now. I wonder if we could do something like that with one of these on either side of here and then an astrology card like from like the Star Codes Astro Oracle. That might work. Um, I might try something like that uh, with the uh, upcoming uh, Creating Spreads video. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's put this away. So um, one of the decks I pulled out um, is actually uh, one of the is my morning uh uh, card pull, which I haven't done today. So let me just go ahead and pull one out uh, for today and I can record it in my uh, journal. So this month uh, is actually dedicated uh, for me to the Welsh goddess um, uh, Cairdwen. Um, so that's uh, who I will be pulling this card for. I'm just going to shuffle real quick. So my daily card pull for this for today is Shark. All right, so I'm gonna put that in my journal. Um, I'm not gonna do it on camera. I'll do that later. So just, that's for me to keep in mind, shark. So let's check out how this looks. I mean, this looks pretty dang good. I mean, that's beautiful. Hmm, I really like that. So of course we're using two Oracle, uh, two Oracle decks. Um, we've got the Nocturna with uh, the Kalyak in the middle. 
And I feel like this Kaliok deck, it's, it's not a deck I could use multiple cards in a reading. It's, it's really a one card, um, one card deck. You know what I mean? Wow, look at this. Struggle between Night Blooming Water Lily and Lavender. Interesting. I want to kind of pull in one of the other decks real quick just to just to get another sort of feeling here. And I grabbed uh, the Morgan or Oracle cards. Um, so we've got another Irish goddess here. And I just, I kind of want to see how this works together. Um, see if I like it or not. Like, um, let me shuffle this real quick. Uh, if I maybe do a sort of multi-deity sort of energy here. Let's split right here and right here. And we could keep that in the middle like that. I'm just I'm just playing around here. Let's let's see how this looks. Um I do kind of like this. We've got talisman. Interesting. All right, let's Hmm. Kind of like this. What do you think? Let me know down below um, if you like this one. Uh, and also, just let me know uh, what combination you like. What uh, what pairing or multiple pairings you like. Look at this. Old woman with the queen and fear. And cactus and asphodel. Very pretty. I quite like this. All right. So, I have one more deck to pull out. So I also pulled out the Endless Oracle. Um, now this is a deck that's kind of meant to, it, it's kind of meant for you to pull out multiple of these um, cards to sort of get like a story because they all kind of connect with each other. So let's move it above and then we'll do like three cards down below and see how this looks. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, so split this into three thirds here. One, two, three, and this is too low. Let me, let me see if I can try to get this right here. So we have the old woman with the mountain, uh, the unicorn, and the zenith. And we put these right next to each other so that they, it forms like a story because that's how this deck is kind of supposed to be red here. So this is interesting. I like the colors. So the tribe with the bard, the pomegranate, and the healer. So here is a, we've got two tribe members here. Um, sort of a working together, maybe, energy. And dear mother with uh, the ships, the butterfly, the cohort. It is very interesting. I like the way this looks. And um, I don't... Uh, it, know the meanings of um this deck as you know off the top of my head it's something I'd have to look into um but I do like this and look at all this blue here I mean that's that's beautiful this and that connection with the tree here and the crossroads we've got a cave a graveyard so this is the crossroad right here we got that tree right in the middle and the path one path two that's very interesting. I like, I, I really like the way this one ca came out. All right. So I also like the idea. Let me, let me just grab a few of these, uh, cards here, like pulling out three cards here. I'm just pulling out three cards. Here's graveyard again. Um, we'll have home right there and I want to test and see, let me, maybe we can grab the, um, the guardian tarot here and see how this might look. I'm just kind of having some fun with um, the cards here and, and testing out um, some layouts, uh, how I might want to use this uh, deck. Um, so we've got that, which is interesting. I don't know how I feel about these ones, but let me try a different one. That looks cool right here with this. Look at that. Wow. And then we got another card here. Interesting. I mean, what do you guys think of this? Because this is actually pretty cool. Um, we've got kind of the story down here. It's almost like a Lenormand reading. Um, because I, I often do three card readings for Lenormand. But this is almost like a Lenormand reading. And then we've got 
the wisdom of the Kaliak right here with this spiritual energy to the side. It's almost like the, the willow spirits, the tree spirits are coming out and um, sort of adding their, um, their two cents here. I like this. All right, so that's um, most of the decks that I used here with this um, with this uh, deck here. I'm really, really happy to have this in. Um, I'm really excited to work with on Kaliak. Um, most of this work that I'm going to do with her is going to be in December, uh, but um, I'm really happy to have this. And um, yeah, so I and I. I I'm, I feel like I'm mostly going to be using this deck like at the end of this year as a morning uh, card pool, um, but I, I feel like I'm going to use it um, a bit throughout the year in 2025, but uh, we'll see. Um, I did really like this, so let me know down below uh, which combination, which pairings you liked, um, and if there's any other pairings you kind of want to see with uh, this deck, I would um, love to hear some suggestions. So thank you so much for watching everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye!